Salut everyone. I don't know if you remember, but seven months ago, we tried NVK driver on Linux. And what are they really like? They are the open source driver for the NVIDIA card on Linux. And seven months ago, it was almost the date when they released their pre-iteration of the driver. And as I mentioned, like I, I wanted to do a follow-up for checking the evolution of the performance of those drivers, I would say around like every six months. So we are like one month late because I become a dad uh, one month ago. And uh, yes, this, this is why I'm pushing the video. So guys, you want to hear about the latest uh, NVK driver performance on Linux? You are on the right video. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. As I mentioned, seven months ago, we tried the NVK driver, which are like the nouveau Vulkan driver uh, for uh, NVIDIA card on Linux. The performance at the time, they were decent, but they were not, I will say, like on par of the NVIDIA proprietary driver. Some things that I really care about, like on this channel, is to follow up some of the main subjects related to gaming. And this one is really important because when those drivers are going to get any type of improvement, I know a lot of you guys are going to be really enjoying this situation because running your NVIDIA card with open source driver on Linux was kind of a dream like two years ago. But it's changing and it's changing really, really fast. The good news since the last time we tested those drivers is the fact that now Mesa delivers them out of the box. And when I say out of the box, you don't have on paper to compile Mesa Git. You don't have to go out of your way if you are using a rolling edge distro or even a distro, depending on when you look at this video, uh, which include uh, the package. I think it's 24.1 of Mesa to actually have NVK ready to go out of the bat. And this is already a great news compared to what it was uh, seven months ago. When it comes to the installation on Arch, I had to just follow the wiki. So for the guy out there, we well, like, oh, how did you install them? So first, I, I made a tutorial six months ago about it. So I invite you to, to go watch it. You don't have to compile MesaGit on paper, but I'm going to talk about that later. Now for the package you need on Arch, it's called like Vulcan Nouveau. I think that's the name of the package. You both install like the both version of it. There is a 64-bit and 32-bit install. You just install them. It's going to take you like one minute max. Again, I'm going to put the link uh, of the stream under and also the link uh, to the wiki of Arch, which mentions every point around this one. And to be super clear, at the time I tested the NVK driver, the Mesa delivered with Arch was not working really well with Wayland. You know, it's just timing about me testing them. I had to recompile it to Git. Maybe it's fixed upstream right now and you have nothing to do. But let's say, you know, you are testing that uh, months or weeks after viewing this video and after my review, maybe one of the solutions, if you encounter any type of problem, is just to recompile Mesa Git. And for this, I have a great tool provided by TKG. It's called Mesa Git and you just recompile by using his repo on GitHub. That's what I've done uh, live on stream. And I'm telling you, it is awesome. It's super easy. And then I got access to the full performance at the time of the NVK driver on my machine. Now, the thing we are all looking for is the performance. When it comes to performance, uh, I'm going to get into the number right away. But before that, I'm going to do another shameless plug. Yes. So why am I doing that? I kind of feel bad of doing that again and again, but I noticed that you guys are not uh, subscribing to the channel and I think it will really help for the visibility of the channel and also like, you know, my growth overall to be able to do that and continue to do that full time. It's just for you to go and like, you know, put a thumb up to this video and give a, uh, also like a, a subscription. It's free. So it doesn't cost you anything. And like that, you are not missing on any of the next video and next update, uh, especially about this type of subject, because I want to keep you up to date. 
and not by just saying like, oh, this is new, it happens, there is a new release. I'm actually going there, testing the driver, showing you the performance uplift or, you know, downlift. And I, th I think this is really what the viewer want to watch uh, instead of, you know, having to install the driver themselves. Anyway, so, you know, if you want to follow and help me, please subscribe, okay? If you want to go further and join the member of La Crème de la Crème Club, you can financially support me on YouTube or on Patreon. The, the first, like, layer of, of support, I think it's like two bucks a month, which is literally like 25 or 24 bucks a year. So, yeah, if you could do that, I would be awesome. And you have no idea how much it helps because, yeah, uh, YouTube ads, they are great, but uh, I'm not going to pay all those diapers <laughs> with them. I'm, I'm just saying. So let's get back to the video. So the performance. I did my usual test when it comes to performance. And the first game I want to talk about is Valheim. So this game runs natively and I tried it on Wayland. And the performance compared to the last test is just crazy. And when I say crazy, let's hear that. In less than seven months, we went from 90 FPS max to 130 FPS which is 44% increase for the driver. So if you compare them to the NVIDIA proprietary driver, it's still under. But the progression is quite noticeable and the experience was actually awesome. I have to say, like to give you an idea at the same spot with the proprietary driver, I will be around like uh, 380, 400 FPS. So we are still way under. The Nvidia proprietary driver, but when I look at the increase, it's pretty promising. Now let's move to Tomb Raider. So Tomb Raider was running, but it was not playable. I think we had like 50 FPS at the end of the, of the benchmark. And again, I do believe that it's related to the setting I put in all my game. I put always the settings to the maximum, ultra, and uh, yes, it, it didn't work well there. And I, again, I have to mention it. I will keep this specific benchmark for the next iteration of the driver, see how much they improve in six months or seven months from now. But in my standard, it's it's not playable. Now let's talk about Battle Beat Remastered. So I don't know if you know this game. It's like a, a, a battlefield uh, mixed with Minecraft. It has been really popular uh, for the last year. I've been a blast playing it. And this game runs really, really well on Linux. On the proprietary driver, I would be around like 700 FPS at the spot I've been looking at. But here, I was at 600, like 620, 600. Like it's, it was just crazy to for me to see the type of performance I was getting on this game. It, it was a big surprise of this review. Like I was expecting it to be working well, but somehow the way this game runs, with the NVK driver is just insane. So this game, contrary at Valheim, is not a native game. It goes through Proton. And during my test, I was running Wayland plus Proton plus the game, and I still have around like 600 FPS at my spot. The experience while shooting around and playing was really solid. I I've been really impressed by this game. Like, let, let me tell you straight, this is for me the big like wow moment I was not expecting. Uh, seven months after the release of the driver. So yeah, pretty positive. Now, I also tried like V-Rising, V-Rising, every setting to the max here. The game was playable, but it was a little bit sluggish. So I, I believe we are around like 60 FPS, 70 FPS. And again, to, to my standard, it's not the best. Uh, we'll be around like three times less the type of FPS or maybe four times less the type of FPS I would get with the proprietary driver on Linux. So here, uh, but yeah, I don't have the exact number of the benchmark because I didn't activate MongoHUD. We'll see in the next iteration, like if it's actually like feel better just in terms of gameplay. And now uh, the last but not the least, No Man's Sky. So those tests were realized before the big update of No Man's Sky because they come with a crazy update, which uh, I would say like push the machine even further when you put all the settings to the max. What I can tell you though is that when I tried the, the driver in their first iteration in uh, like seven months ago, 
some of the actual like visual piece of the game were full of artifacts they were like bugged yeah I, I was running a powerpoint but on top of that like the rendering was not correct now it's different because the performance i can see a little bit of uplift it still feel like a powerpoint but compared to what it was like day and night i had one frame every like five seconds here i have like more fps every second which is better it's still a powerpoint but i can tell the difference but I also can tell like there is no artifact at all. So the game renders better, uh, the performance is there, it's still not playable. Okay, it's still not playable, but I can see the huge uplift compared to what it was. All right, so how can we conclude this video? I don't believe there is a real conclusion to this series of video. And I do believe that what we need to do is like put another like stone and you know, set ourselves for another like little meeting like six months from now or five months from now and, and check where we are at with those drivers because the evolution for me is just incredible. It's just incredible to think like seven months ago or like, now let's say like 10 months ago, those drivers, they were not even here. And now we are able to run some of those games in 1414p at 600 plus FPS. Obviously, it's not, you know, a really good, good story for all the game. It makes sense. But guys, this is just the beginning, right? This is the beginning. Think about what is going to be six months from now or one year from now. I think this is just wonderful. So guys, as always, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscription. Really appreciate that. And until then, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.